yeah, you've both done a very good job networking in the space and there's always the meme of like your network is your net worth but in this space it feels pretty true like if you make enough friends one door opens and it's like kind of how you started a cms intern and mm-hmm. you were talking about earlier you meant them like how did that happen mike zinneman is actually a guy who introduced me to dan uh when i this was the summer this was like DeFi summer and i knew i wanted to work in the space so i ended up talking to dan was like, hey, I'm going to be spending every waking hour researching crypto. Um, if you got like, I'll do it. If you just point the finger and tell me, you know, what you guys would like research on, like I probably learn a lot faster because what you think is interesting is probably much better signal than what I'm looking at. Um, and then I'll just give you all the research for free. And he was like, yeah, sounds great. Yeah, and sounds it, great. It, You're gonna do free work. Yeah, it was. Fuck yeah. It was literally a three minute phone call, <laughs> and I got off the phone, and I remember calling my mom like, "I think I just got an internship," <laughs> but it it's ended unpaid. very abruptly, so I'm not sure. Um, and then started working for them the next week. It's a big theme. Like I know a lot of people who got their position because they're doing things for free. I think of uh, Wale from Azuki. He just put out a bunch of threads, and they're like, "Hey, we're gonna." hire you to be a researcher at Azuki, but you can also just pursue whatever you want to research. We're just going to pay you to have us under our banner. Um, I think of like 9059, the proof team, but NFT statistics, like punk 9059. Same thing. He's putting out all this research of like floor prices and data viz and graphs. And then it's like, oh, hey, do you want to work for proof? 